Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Freighter Chris here from the YouTube channel Sabrosa. Today I want to talk about some of the health benefits of lion's mane mushrooms. I have, an exa have some examples here of lion's mane mushrooms. These are also called monkey head mushrooms, bearded tooth mushrooms, satyr's beard, the bearded hedgehog, pom-poms, uh, yama bushitake, hotugo, and also the bearded tooth fungus. The scientific name for lion's mane mushroom is Heresium arenaceus, and these are these are a white globe-shaped fungi with shaggy spines. And you can see that these are some of the shaggy spines, and and here are these spines again. And and on some of them, these spines aren't quite as long. Looks more like a cauliflower. So the the lion's mane mushrooms are are considered both edible and medicinal. And they, they belong to a group of fungus called tooth fungus. Um, these are native to North America, Europe, and Asia. In the wild, it's common to find these in the late summer and fall on hardwoods, especially American beech trees. So you, when you find these in the wild, you'll see them attached to the tree. And you can see, you see here's where it was attached to the fallen tree. And um, these were grown. Um, but nonetheless, they were grown on fallen trees, and you can see here's where the mushroom attaches itself to the tree, and then it would sit up right like this, and these, these little spines would, would drag their way down like this. And you can see they would sit like that. So as far as the, the chemistry goes with lion's mane mushroom, they contain several polysaccharides, uh, a B-glucan, a heteroglucose, a heteroxylans, as well as several cyathane derivatives, uh, which are diterpenoids known as heresinose arenacines. These, these can be eaten raw, cooked, dried, or steeped as a tea. And there's also, powder, there's also powdered lion's mane mushrooms, and that's, that's put into capsules and taken as a daily supplement. So here's some, here's some host defense mushrooms. A lion's mane mushroom capsules, and and you can find these at your at your local um, at your local health food store. And if you can't find them at your local health food store, you can find them on Amazon, no problem. So that's that's what the capsules look like, and, and you can make your own capsules as well. So here I just picked up some capsules at the at the local food co-op, and and I also picked up some powder, and you can. You can just make your own capsules, you know, save a little bit of money that way. But at the same time, it's important that you know where you sourced, um, where you sourced this powder because um, sometimes you'll end up getting these, these mushrooms from China and some of the lead content um, from these mushrooms from China is just pretty out of control. So you want to make sure that, that the mushrooms were, you know, grown in the United States or grown somewhere besides China, basically. So the taste of these uh, is, is similar to seafood and it's often compared to crab or lobster. And lion's mane contain bioactive substances which benefit the body, especially the brain, the heart, and the gut. Now, I first learned about lion's mane mushrooms from a Joe Rogan podcast who was doing an interview with Paul Stamets. And I'll leave a link in the description. It's a really fantastic conversation where Paul Stamets really gets into some of the details about some of the studies and some of the tests that they've done, some of the, some of the scientific literature about um, lion's mane mushrooms. So these are, these are examples of some fresh lion mane mushrooms here. And I got these from the mushroomery, and that's a that was at the farmers market at the People's Co-op here in Portland, Oregon. And I'll I'll leave a link in the description so you can you can check out the um, check that out too. And I'll go ahead and open this up. These are these are some dried lion's mane mushrooms. So with with these, you could reconstitute them, like if you were going to if you were going to cook some soup, maybe. So you could put those directly in your soup, or you could you could also use a uh, mortar and pestle and and make your own you know powder and put them in the capsules yourself that way too. And that would probably be even cheaper than buying the powder. And especially if you could if you could collect your own wild mushrooms, if you could 
you could um, you know spend a little bit of time researching uh, identification and make sure that you're getting the right mushrooms so let's talk about some of the health benefits of uh, lion's mane mushrooms lion's mane mushrooms are thought to protect against dementia and th there was a study with older patients who had mild cognitive impairment and they were given three grams of powdered lion's mane mushrooms uh, daily for four months and they showed significantly improved mental functioning and and most of the studies so far have been done with mice and, and with animals so there's very few human studies so far so we're in the very beginning uh, you know studying these mushrooms uh, lion's mane mushrooms are also thought to relieve depression and anxiety and there was a small study done with menopausal women who were who reported a, a decrease in irritation and anxiety and may also uh, lion's mane mushrooms may also speed up the recovery from nervous system injuries stimulating growth and repairing nerve cells lion's mane mushrooms are thought to protect against ulcers in the digestive tract and and also to redu reduce the risk of heart disease and uh, to help manage some of the symptoms of diabetes Lion's mane mushrooms have been shown to significantly lower blood pressure levels and some of the extract may reduce diabetic nerve pain in the hands and feet and they may also help fight cancer by reducing inflammation. Lion's mane mushrooms contain a powerful anti-inflammatory and an antioxidant compounds. Lion's mane mushrooms are also thought to boost the immune system and cognitive health. Some of, the, some of the side effects could be a skin rash or breathing difficulties, and th these would be if you were having an allergic reaction to the mushrooms, which is pretty uncommon. So if you were having an allergic reaction to the mushrooms, it would probably manifest itself in a skin rash or a breathing difficulty, and then you would know that you know, maybe you're allergic to these and you shouldn't, you shouldn't take them, but you know, definitely talk to a doctor before you decide to take any daily supplement. So as far as as far as preparing these as food, um, these can be cooked until the outer layer is crispy and to, to avoid any bitter taste. And these are commonly cooked with butter and sauteed on both sides, you know, cut into strips. And these are also, uh, these are also very popular in stacking mushrooms. And stacking would be like, like taking two different types of mushrooms at the same time, so with like reishi and chaga and cordyceps mushrooms. Uh, as well as turkey tail mushrooms so they they're a good stacking mushroom in that way and Paul Stamets in in that interview that I was talking about he talked about stacking uh, stacking lion's mane mushrooms with uh, psilocybin containing cubenzi mushrooms and some of the results that they that they've come up with and and it's very fascinating very interesting stuff and he also talks about adding a vitamin d3 or a niacin so my experience, I've been taking these lion's mane mushrooms just for a couple weeks, but I already feel I already feel like a, a little bit sharper, and sometimes sometimes I won't be able to to grab that word. There will be a word on the tip of my tongue, and I won't be able to say it. And I found that lately um, my speech is is a lot clearer. So uh, that's that's just been my personal experience, and and. You know, everyone's ex experience is going to be different, and and I'll I'll continue taking them. I'm taking two of these capsules every day, so I'll continue taking them, and we'll make a follow-up video in a while, and I'll talk about maybe some of the benefits um, that that I think that that the lion's mane mushrooms have for me. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, please leave me a comment with your thoughts and ideas. Maybe if you have some recipes, um, if you want to like, share, and subscribe, that'd be great. I got new videos every new moon. Got lots of great content and lots more to come. So thanks for watching. Peace Profound and LVX.